I received some packages from Golden Artist Colors. They are wonderful. This is a set of sampled pin pastels. It has seven sample colors. And on this side is the soft uh, 44 2 set. I'm going to show you how we use these materials. I'm going to use this pastel pencil. It's a brown color. And as I talk about the in doing the, my, my sketching uh, exercise like this, this keep it a little bit simple. So because if you make it very, very complicated, you get into the detail, you lost the, um, the expression. Like that, there's the top over here coming all the way down over here. And there's something as we break it, but before we go into any deeper, make sure that we have uh, some full attention onto the uh, the composition so that you see how much we're going to leave on this side, how much you leave at the bottom. So we need to think about that. Think about on the left side, the right side, how big you want it to be and how much you want to leave on both sides. Sometimes it's not a good idea to leave too much room, maybe a little too straight. So you might be have this up a little bit and, and even stop. Okay. Don't go all the way. Because in that case, we lead the attention maybe off from uh, the main object. So kind of coming over here. So just play with the idea. I'm going to have this open a little bit more like this. And this is a pastel pencil. It's, it's a very simple. Just use. And over here, I'm going to have this coming down. And I don't want to make this too, too uh, uh, straight, too sharp. Have it like this. And coming on to this side, this is some catch the shadow. I maybe make this catch the shadow even stronger or not. So I'm going to see that and put the shape over here and yeah, take a look. And I think this is so far so good, but I may want the bottom over here a little bit wider like that. It may be a little bit wider. Also think about this flower in the top over here, maybe the flower a little bit bigger, this one. And coming off over here, so I can have a little bit more uh, the leaf over here. And this flower, a little bit too vertical, I might be tilted, have a little bit more ang angle, like a turning down a little bit, instead of having this as vertical. Those are all the decision that you that you have to pay full attention to and um, before it is late, right? You have to do this right at the beginning stage, like that. And this flower, that's just the whole shape over here, almost look like a triangle. That's the three um, pink flowers right here, like that. And later you can divide it into three. And take a look at this flower and we can draw around a pin around the light flower or because the opaque you might also want to just uh, paint as opaque on top of the color that you have in the as the dark background okay okay this is good and having the little oval shape right in the middle coming this way, coming down a little bit like that. And take a look on this side. This flower is a lot bigger than the others. So here you go, like that. So this is the composition study. And about the, the backdrop over here, uh, there is a one shape coming down here. And this is going to be helpful. This is actually going to drag the attention into the flower over here. And this one doesn't really leave the attention, this side lead the attention into the flower, but over here it's going away. So I maybe just have this whole shape 
to become their shadow and that's it. It doesn't really have that the middle over here become a little triangle light shape. We don't need that. So it have this shape coming all the way down over here. And this is also have maybe a little bit more shadow. Have a little bit also cast shadow down over here as well. Just think about give it enough time to play at the beginning. Okay, if you don't play, uh, you may not get your uh, personal impressions into the uh, the artwork at the beginning. Okay, that's the top, the top edge. This is good. The bottom over here. There's a perspective in this, and the oval shape at the top with a little bit more flat as it's going down, a little bit more and more, and a little bit more curve, curvage, a little bit more. Okay, like that. That's good. And okay, so the composition is just pretty good already. I'm gonna have that little big shape over here too. Just put your intention. And the intention is gonna follow through for the whole painting process, like that. This is pretty good. Now, all right, let's go in the star, this painting. We want the background to be darker. At least I want the background a little bit darker. So make the flower to become uh, the main, uh, as the main thing. I'm gonna use this sponge. And first I'm going to use a little bit darker color. So you see on this side I have uh, the three primary colors with the white. And on this side I have another, the other three colors, the brown, the green, and the uh, black. So I'm gonna take the black color, just push that in. And now I'm going to just softly, you see that it's very easy to get the color in. Okay, and this is also wrapping the uh, pigment. I'm gonna put it on the bottom over here too. It's kind of very interesting, a uh, new medium. You might want to uh, give it a try to see how that work. Okay, and by the way, this is the first time I'm using this. So uh, it may not use the best process yet. Okay, because my papers already have uh, a tin color, okay, so I don't have to have very dark color, okay. And this sponge also work as pretty good with the blender, okay, like that, pretty good, like that. So the, the bottom over here may be good enough just with the color of the paper, okay, already good enough, right. So the top over here, just think about what other colors I should, or what area should be making even darker than the natural paper color, okay? Like at the bottom over here, I'm gonna use a little blue color. I see a little blue. So I'm gonna tap on it to so take a little blue. You see that I have a little blue pigment over there. So I'm gonna just put it down over here. And by the way, the, the pigment, the pink on the, on the paper, it's very thin because you're wrapping, constantly wrapping the, um, the pigments into the paper. Okay. okay, a little bit more like that. Have a little bit blue, very interesting, very translucent. Okay, that's good. All right, the top over here, if you think about it, have a little bit more brown, as you can just tap on it, a little bit brown. Also, you can mix color. You, I'm going to mix that right on the paper. I'm gonna put that over here. This is very interesting, very re relaxing, very fun. If you wanna see that, oh, I wanna have a little bit more yellowish color, maybe a little bit green color over here. Just tap on it, have a little bit green, and then you can apply it to that area. That become a little bit green. So you know it'd be more green, you can give it a little bit more. All right, this is pretty good so far. And, and I'm gonna add the white color, the lighter color, a little bit later, okay? So I need to get the color in places before I going into, um, into to change them. 
I maybe have the lighter tone. So I'm going to rub it a little bit more and make it a little bit more smoother. Okay, this is pretty good. Like that. Okay, this is a very big sponge. And there's also smaller sponge. It's an even bigger sponge. You can see that there's some over here. Some is a very huge sponge, which is I may not use today. This is a very big, flat, uh, thin sponge as well. Okay. And there are also some small, um, kind of small brushes. Okay. And it's very interesting. So I have a have a couple over here and I can use that for a little bit smaller area. So we're going to see, we may not really need to use the uh, pastel pencil, which is I do have a whole box of 36 color. So now the next thing, uh, the background now already uh, getting a little bit dimmer, a little bit tone. And so one more thing I want to show it to you that, and also the eraser, can work pretty well over here. Those pastel can very easy to just take it out, leave it out. So I'm gonna show it to you over here. Like this area, I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter. Can you see that? It's very easy just to leave it up. See that? That I want this a little bit lighter. Just leave it up. Just use the needle eraser, right? Pretty interesting. Like I put a, a few shape over here. And a couple shape like that. This is very easy. Just to lift up, make it a little bit lighter. Okay. And down over here, maybe have this is a little, little bit lighter. But I don't want it too much contrast in the backdrop. Okay. Just be a little careful. You maybe want to do that a little bit later, not at the beginning. I just want to show it to you that that very easy to lift up those pen pastel. Like that, have a little bit big shape like this. It's very easy to light that up. It's pretty interesting. I'm gonna have that up a little bit and maybe have this a little bit light over here. Okay, it's pretty good. I'm gonna have a little bit light coming all the way in here too. It's kind of very interesting. Okay, you can just erase it just like what you would expect. Right, so over here, I'm gonna light up a little bit over here too. But a little bit too early. We need to have more uh, color in here, make it a little bit darker. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start adding a little bit darker shape. So I'm gonna use the, uh, this uh, knife, palette knife. So I'm gonna just get a little bit um, dark color. This is black color. And now I'm gonna take a look at over here. You can put it down like this. And if it's too dark, and you can yeah, leave it if you, later. I'm gonna have this coming through, and just a little bit over here. This is good enough. I'm gonna have this a little bit darker, this shape. That's the cast shadow. Okay, now coming over here, and I just use the corner over here. You don't have to use the hole, just like the way we use the brush, right? We talk about the flat brush for watercolor painting. You don't use the whole brush. You can use just a corner of it. Okay, this is good. Okay, with a little bit more practice, this is gonna become a very interesting uh, new tool for painting. This is good. I'm gonna have this even a little bit darker like that. This is good. Okay, just keep the uh, the shape, keep that, keep the marks as you don't have to make everything so smooth, okay? No need to make everything look smooth. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna have some darker color and I'm gonna just set a little bit darker color, just take a little bit more. Now I'm gonna start from Actually, right in the middle over here, I'm gonna take this area to become a dark color, okay? And a little bit dark color over here too, like that. There you go. And that color, this color can mix with 
the a little green if you want to but you can start from dark color the black color first okay and then mix that with the green to have change the temperature a little bit okay this is good take a look at the the value first okay this is good like that and I'm going to just use the corner of this have a little bit opening this is good like that that's good coming up over here we can add the color we can mix the color right on the paper okay that's good okay well this is fun okay now take a look at the bottom over here this is another shape it doesn't have a lot of uh, pigment powder on top of the paper because all those color you are blending it in you're pushing that in uh, in the uh, pigment the the paper surface okay okay have some color over here too and this is good okay now have some a little bit darker color now I have this come in a little bit like that you can use just the corner I have the the thinner shape okay now down over here now I'm gonna have this a little bit curve so I'm gonna remind myself have a little curve over here now I'm gonna have a little bit darker color right from here here you go right here my paper is pretty smooth so it's not really like a sanded or a very heavy texture like the regular pastel paper okay now i'm gonna have this even darker okay here you go like that coming down over here and i want this a little bit darker okay that's good i'm gonna drag this over that's good like that very nice okay and and the top over here i make it a little bit even darker okay here we go have an even darker color right over there this is good okay now before i i change the color now i'm going to have this a little bit lower even lower have this shape That's good. Okay, a little bit more. And then I mix the red and the brown color. It would work. And over here, just think about just the shape. Like that. This is pretty good. Now, just getting the larger shape. Now I'm going to have this, the shadow over here. To catch the shadow and the back over here, make it a little bit darker. Okay. All right, this is pretty good. Uh, you can actually get rid of some of the unused and get rid of that with the paper tower. Now I'm gonna have it make it a little bit more clean. Just like a oil painting, you don't have to clean it 100% before you uh, start um, taking other colors. So what I would like to do now, I'm gonna get a little red color. So I'm gonna get the red color from here and now I just put a little red color in here to see how it look okay we're gonna mix the color I'm gonna just put the red color in a larger shape okay like that okay down over here that's pretty good I'm gonna have that right on the top over here have a little red color Okay, have a little bit red flower right over there. This is good. And down over here, I'm gonna have this color, this flower, a little bit slanted. So it's not really. So we wanna be even a little bit darker. So if you want to be darker, just add the black color to it. Okay, you can make it darker than that. Okay, have a little bit red right over there I have a little red over here too coming over there 
Okay, this is good. We're gonna also have a little red color on the outside over here. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, next, what I want to do, I'm gonna start adding some green color. Okay, I try to use a little bit a less tool as possible. So now I'm gonna take the uh, green color. This green color very bright and but kind of light too. So I'm gonna just put it on this side and the outside over here. That's a little bit, that's a little bit, this is good. And you can drag that and for some smaller shape of green. Like that, some smaller shape. It's a little bit over here and a little bit like that. And we can also have this a little bit more green coming down over here. And this is good. Have a little shape over here too. And everything looks like I put it abstract right now. It says put that some color, some a bunch shape. That's it. Okay. Okay, now next we also, oh, so a little bit green color, we put it on too. Uh, in the middle of the glass vase over here. And put a few shape. Okay, there's a little bit shape over here. Okay, and I'm gonna have a little bit of brown color. I have this color coming through over here and a little bit more brown and then we're gonna take a little yellow into that. Okay, this is good. We're gonna have some. That's good. Like this, that's pretty good. All the way coming over here. That's good. All right, now I'm gonna get a little yellow color into it. Now I'm gonna change my brush. Now I'm gonna use this brush, okay. Now I'm gonna get, mix a little yellow with the, um, with the red, okay. Now I'm gonna decide to, I can actually have other paper, have it to for like a color mixing palette. So I'm gonna just put the yellow color right over here. Okay, here we go. Get some yellow color. That's good. And then I'm gonna get the red color, okay. Okay, get the larger shape, get a whole bunch of color over there get the color look like just like similar to you're going to use the brush the bigger brush for the oil painting okay. there you go so I have the base color in and here you go I'm gonna have this Okay, you can push that. This is pretty opaque. You can cover the color. That's good. I also would like to have a little bit more expression. Um, now I'm gonna take a little bit more yellow, put it over here first. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more red. So I'm going to get rid of too much of the yellow. Now I'll take the red color, but it's okay. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, you're going to uh, contaminate the, the color because it's going to be um, very easy to clean up. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. So I'm going to just put that a little red color onto the yellow and become the orange color. Okay. 
this go a little bit more onto this side that's good okay so overall we already almost like I have all the color every color there in now we're gonna pass a little bit now we're gonna take a look at um, what the deeper color lighter color how we're gonna balance it so uh, now I'm going to get rid of too much of this red color here you go I'm gonna take a look at and it looks like everything in the middle tone do you guys agree? It looks like everything like floating, floating in the middle of that. We want to be a little bit deeper. So we have to be a little bit creative. So how we can break that a kind of like a all hanging in the light or the mid tone. So we're going to make that, maybe make the background over here even deeper. So we have to change it. So how can we do that? I'm going to use, I'm going to come back to use this sponge, okay, sponge. And now I'm going to just go into, let's see, we're going to have a little bit brown color to see. And the black color. We want to make this a little bit darker, right? Can you see that? Immediately darken the outside. So make the whole painting look a little bit heavier. Can you see it? This is very important to be a little bit more um, brave when you're doing a painting. It's just like in life, there is a project, there is a, a thing or maybe the balance or the relationship is not working. What we're going to do, okay, you're not happy. You have to break something and build something up. So this is good now. I have this even a little bit darker like that now immediately can you see that that the whole balance a little bit a little bit heavier right so I'm gonna have this even a little bit more coming down like this and this is two side looks like a little bit more like a, a reflected balance we don't want this so I'm gonna actually get rid of this okay just like a, have a little bit darker that's it okay and I'm going to have a little bit more blue color over here. I'm going to take a little bit blue. I'm going to have that a little bit more blue over here. Okay, like that. Okay, now it looks a little bit better and the balance. So I'm going to have this a little bit blue color over here too. Okay, if you don't want it, you can erase it. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to have a little bit more blue coming over here. The color very thin. Um now I feel like feel this a little bit better already. Okay. Now I'll put a little color over here. Now I have this a little bit blue color on the side. And I'm gonna have this a little bit color coming in over here. Here you go. And have a little shape. Okay, here you go. Have a little shape like that. It's kind of make it interesting. Okay, here you go. A little bit more blue. And actually I found it in every medium. You have to have some kind of stage of the painting process that you will stop and then look at things and make their big decision. I'm going to have this a little bit more red. And you see how you're going to create a better, create better balance better than what you see or what the reference is okay so this is a little bit too straight I'm gonna break that too I'm gonna to have that a little bit more okay break that a little bit more like that okay so everything come down need to be have make you feel good that's very important all right, all right. Now this is this is a little bit better, not like a so much uh, light space. So now what I want to do, and I'm going to add some even darker, deeper tone. So now I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to use a small, a little bit small brush. 
Okay, it came with the whole package. So now I'm gonna have some even darker color. Okay, here you go. Now I'm gonna have this a little bit darker. Okay. Okay. Okay, just think about you are building the relationship. You are building the contrast, building the shapes. You don't need to worry about the details right now. If you worry about the detail too early, uh, you lost the balance. Even the, the everything looks good, it looks real, but it doesn't feel the painting have cohesive connection. So that is very important that you have to focus on that. The cohesive connection was just in the balance. The balance, that's what we talk about. Okay, here you go. Have that in here. Just break the shape a little bit in. There's a little bit triangle. Okay, break the shape over here too. Okay, that's good. Okay, have a little bit shape over here. Okay, a little bit over here. This is good. And I'm gonna have a little bit darker. Say so this is a perfect uh, brush for this purpose. Okay, now I'm gonna have this even darker. Okay, here you go. We're gonna mix the red color in here in a bit. Okay, here you go. We want it to be deeper first. Make sure you build up the value deeper. Okay, here you go. That's good. And the top, we have a little lighter shape. Okay, like that. That's good. All right, this is have a little bit more shadow. Okay. And this Friday, we have a member uh, lesson. Hopefully you have time to join us. That is about how they see the shapes in the flower, the roses. Okay, break the shape in. This is good. And getting there, I'm gonna come in over here, take a look at even darker. Okay, just like oil painting, often that we are doing a little bit um, deeper color, a little bit darker color, before we're going a little bit lighter color, okay? Uh, pastel is very similar to oil painting. You can do the dark color first before you do the lighter color. Okay, that's good. We can have. So we're gonna have some deeper color soon. Okay. Here you go, get a little bit texture from the water surface down. That's good. All right. That's pretty good. I'm gonna have some little bit more shape for catch the shadow. And you can use your finger as it blend it. Okay, here you go. A little bit sharper. Right over here. Okay, coming over here and have a little bit open. Like that. Okay, that's good. From here down, I can make it a little bit darker, a bit deeper. Okay. All right. This is good. We're kind of like uh, making uh, a painting instead of uh, being careful in the details. Okay. Don't worry about that. I'm going to have this a little bit. Use the eraser. It's very, very effective. Okay, that's good. Like that, I'm gonna have that, a little erasing. Oh, I cannot believe that is how easy to lift up the color. You can make it more like a silky or uh, fabric materials. Okay, very nice, like this. Okay, a little bit over here too, a little bit over here. Let's put it a little bit over there. OK, 
Okay, that's good. Keep some of this shape. Okay, now I'm gonna see. Uh, I'm gonna get uh, another clean one. Just get the yellow color. Uh, by the way, we never used the white yet. So this is where we're going to. So I'm gonna have this coming down. Okay, use a different side and over here too. Okay, like that, pushing it down. Look at the, the movement, the brush stroke. Okay, just like oil painting. Brush stroke coming down. That's good. I'm gonna have a little bit shape over there. That's just good. Okay, and tap a little bit red. Mix that together. Mm-hmm. And pretty good. I'm gonna have a little red color. So I'm gonna use this a little bit deeper color. Just get a little red, take a little red, put it in here, a little bit sharper. And also put it in the middle of here, a little bit warmer. So I'm gonna add a little red into that. Also get a little red into the black, they're already here. So you got like this, pretty good. Have a little bit brown color. Okay, get a little bit brown. And I'm gonna with painting this, I'm gonna get a little yellow too. And mix that together. That's pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna start having a little bit white. Now let's see, where we're gonna have some white. I'm gonna put a little white shape over here. It's for the small flower on the top, at the front. And I also see a little bit on the side over here. That's pretty good. And I have a little bit light shape right on the top over here. Also be careful that the sponges also can use as a lift up color too, like an eraser. Okay. Because is if you have no color in it, it can take the color out. Okay, that's good. Also use this uh, that's very nice. I'm gonna have this. Take a look at the bottom over here. And also can have a little bit light shape as the glass. A little couple of light shape right over here. Also you can think about some of the the, uh, the issues you can use eraser as a solution. Okay. So you don't have to always using white, what depends, okay? Okay, here you go, that's just good. I can have a couple shape, couple little shape like that, that's just good. Now I'm gonna come back with get a little bit more yellow. Okay, so a little bit yellow flower, put it right there. That's good. Okay, a little bit flower yellow flower like that seeing some small flower on the top i think now is the uh, the balance is pretty good already and now i'm gonna coming into here have a little eraser now i'm gonna actually not having this too flat i'm gonna have this open up the eraser like this a little bit more like a little bit more uh, hammer shark like a shape like that a little bit lighter it's pretty good actually it doesn't feel like it they're gonna falling off from the paper at any any point because if you just leave it you use the finger try to take it out it's not that easy you have to use the eraser okay that's good that's good. And 
take a little bit more color out. Okay, this is good. Now I'm gonna keep it like that. I don't want too much changes in the background. And maybe over here, get a little bit lighter. I'm pretty happy with this. So I also can lift up a little color and create a, a little light shape on the rose. Can you see that? Yeah, very interesting. Uh huh. And okay. I already like appear to be like a roses already. I'm gonna have that light up a little bit on the top over here. Okay, this is pretty good. Now I'm gonna continue. Now I'm gonna have this, uh, the bottom of this uh, flower, uh, flower bud a little bit dimmer. So I'm gonna just get a little bit red and the black to it. So I'm gonna have this a little bit darker. Also here, a little bit brown in the middle over there. Okay, make sure you put it in the right place. This is good, like that. Now look a little bit dirty, it's okay. We talk about dirty, how to make it dirty. It's just, uh, it's not a specific color or value, it's called dirty. It actually, the, it's a feeling. Dirty is a feeling that the wrong color or the wrong value in the wrong place I'm gonna get a little bit more green color, mix that together. Now I'm gonna have it coming from the bottom up this way. And, but I don't wanna have like a right in the middle, like a vertical up. So I'm gonna have a little bit more change that a little bit more like this. So I don't want it to be getting the tension to be like a very straight up, right? So you think about that, maybe that is just too straight, look boring, right? Okay, a little bit over here some color over there. This is pretty good, but just I need to have the brown color cross over here. Okay, this is good. Like that, right there, this is pretty good. Okay, I think to when we get to this point, it's just pretty good already. Now, I'm gonna put the pen pastel to the side, and I'm gonna start see if I can use the, uh, if, before we move to the uh, pastel uh, pencil, uh, we want to maybe use the white. We're gonna apply it to the white color to it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take a little bit more. Uh, this is interesting. This is not a brush like that. Uh, let me try that too. Okay, open this in the back. Okay. Just take it out like that. Very interesting. Now I'm gonna use it, apply the white. Okay, so I'm a little bit lighter. I'm gonna take a look at the brush draw. And like this, like that. Ooh, look at that, very interesting. And like that, very clear. Like that is definitely interesting. Coming over here. And all the way, I'm gonna have a little bit more, all the way coming out. And this is good. I'm gonna have the little big shape, little big stroke. Like this, this is pretty good. And I can have a little bit more shape coming this way. This is good. At the bottom over here, here you go have a little bit more shape like that. This is pretty good. I'm gonna have that 
a little bit more like that. Nice. Can make that a little bit softer. Now here we go. I'm going to have that a little bit shape. Now I'm going to have this a little bit lighter. I'm going to have that a little bit lighter. But don't overuse it. Okay. And use it only if you need it. You definitely need it. So I'm going to have this a little bit shape over here too. That I create a feeling of these materials, the, the silky fabric material. Okay, that's good. And and now the painting almost look pretty well done. I'm having fun with this brush, so I'm gonna coming over here to develop a little bit more. Uh, just gonna get the uh, yellow, put it in the top over here, make it a little bit more clear. So see that this is actually put a good brush and a little bit more yellow. Take a look over here, the top over here, a little bit lighter. Here you go, this is good, like that. And when you go a little bit lower, have a little bit more red because the the red rose and actually have the color reflected under here. So this is pretty good. Good. Now I'm gonna. Get, actually define a little bit more of the rows, but we don't have to get it very, very tedious and details. Okay, let's take a look. If we can build some clear um, shape, I'm gonna have that, put it down like this, pretty good. And I'm gonna get the red color over here one more time. Now I'm going to take a look, just to have the color a little bit thicker. I like the softness of this medium. Okay, that's good. Okay, here we go. Have that, a little shape. A little shape. That's good. I like that. Very, very rich. I'm going to get a little bit more red mix into here and here you go I'm gonna have this color this draw coming out and this a little bit coming out like this now I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow from here here we go now I'm gonna have this don't drag too much if you don't have much uh, pigment don't drag that much because it's not going to help you make sure you have enough pigment in your brush. That's good. And over here, more yellow. I'm going to take a little bit more red. Okay, a little bit more red. Put it here. And here we go. And drag that out over here. That's good. Drag that out over here. That's good. I get a little bit more yellow, but I still have a little bit red color like this. I'm going to have this. Oh, this is good. You can see that stroke. To just put it on a little bit more. Just put it on right here. Like that. Now, a little bit brighter at the front. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to get a little red over here. Mix that a little bit more red orange color. Now take a look at right here. Put a little color there. Right over here. See that stroke? Very interesting. Okay, that's good. Right there. Have a little bit warmer. Okay, here we go. Like that. little bit sharper now this is good now after that we're going to painting outside we can do that and we're going to build up the cleanliness or right, now I'm going to take it on on this side on this flower now I'm going to take this one this look at that that's beautiful yeah 
load big shopper see that that's good load big shopper now be patient don't give up okay that's good load big more okay have a little big pedal behind that here we go that's good and we're gonna see the little lighter and a little bit darker shadow okay that's good that's the shape right over here that's just good we're gonna be have a little bit thicker put it on the brush and take a look we want this a little bit more clear here you go like that and the tip over here a little bit sharper that's good a little bit sharper over here too very nice like that a little bit more wonderful and I'm gonna get the little bit shadow okay over here coming in a little bit sharper a little bit sharper okay that's good okay now I'm gonna have a little bit brown color so I'm gonna take the brown color take the brown color take a look over here that's the shadow shape we we'll talk about have to be C shape 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 right it's very important now I change the brush maybe have this a little bit sharper use this one and just take the brown color take a look at this draw Oop, darker have a little bit black into here a little bit darker that's good and I'm gonna have that also a little shape over here that's good have a little big shadow underneath okay like that this is pretty good and a little shadow underneath over here okay that's good a little shadow I want to have a little bit clear and a little big shadow like that that's pretty good okay okay the flower looks is pretty good now I'm going to continue with the black mix that with the brown color now I'm going to see this has a little gap over here okay that's good and also I have a little big shadow right there as well as a little big shadow and in here now I'm just going to use this to enhance that shape okay that's good a little bit over here okay I'm going to use the brown color, a little bit darker. I'm going to create that a little bit more clear shadow. Okay, that's good. Okay, and a little bit detail. Okay, that's good. A little bit detail. Like that, little detail. Okay, that's pretty good. Over here, I'm gonna have a little bit sharper. Now I'm gonna come in to um, also use a little bit lighter uh, red color. This kind of orange red color. So I'm gonna have this and the top over here. Put a little light shape. Here you go. 
that is a lot more easy to control. Okay, that's pretty good. That's good. Now look at the shape. You don't have to do exactly how the shape look like. But finding the logic and the rhythm. Yeah, seeing how the shape turning. Okay, here you go. Like this, this is pretty good. And maybe a little bit more pink color is more helpful. Okay, so let's have this color. Now I'm gonna have a little bit pink color. This may be a little bit too bright, so I'm gonna see that. Ooh, that's definitely a little bit too much. Okay, like that. Not bad. A uh, few line. That's pretty good. And at the end, we're gonna talk about if you have any questions, any input, suggestions, we can chat about a little bit later. So I'm gonna see the top over here, put a few shapes. That's good, like that. That's a little bit too much. So, so we can actually soften it by having this brush. You can soften that. Some of the a little bit too rough or too too much. You can have a little bit softer. Okay, like that. And I'm gonna just use the red color. And coming back over here, use the red. And I can actually adding. Some of the richer color right in the middle over here. Okay, like that. That's good. Okay, that's a little bit too dark. So get a little bit red, light it up a little bit. That's good. Uh, the flower looks just pretty nice already. Now I'm gonna have a little bit darker. Uh, to the green color. I'm gonna have to take a look at this color. It's dark enough. This is pretty good. Now I'm gonna have this like a little this corner, making sure you have that corner. You see that? Now I can put this in. Now make the flower even sharper, right? This is important. So here you go. Now I'm gonna have this like that. A lot more clear. I have a little bit opening over here too. So this is good. This is a little bit warm, so I'm going to change that. And with uh, a little bit darker green, more like the green color. Kind of have this a little bit darker green. This is very bright. Maybe it doesn't really need this so bright. So I'm going to have. Take a look at this color. This is pretty good. And have a little bit more yellowish tone. Okay, here you go. You can mix these two colors together. Okay, have a few little detail. Okay, that's very nice. Okay that have a little bit more darker uh, petal over here. A little bit darker. And also help this petal, this flower to stand down. Okay. Okay, coming back over here, I'm gonna have this little bit sharper on the outside. This flower petal sharper. That's good. And we're gonna have some over here too. Like that have a little bit over here. Like 
Okay, can have a little green color to neutralize it. Doesn't need to be so dark. Okay, okay, like this. Very good. And we can have a little bit darker color, the darker red color. And seeing that right behind this. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have some even darker color inside the middle of the flower over here. Okay, there is this, the, some texture. Give a little bit texture over here. Like that. Pretty good. Now take a look at down over here. Some I can have a little bit more even clear contrast. That's good. Like that. And we can make this a little bit more details. Yeah. You got a little big detail. Okay, little big details underneath. Okay. Wonderful. Pretty good. Now we're gonna take a look at the entire painting. Now after we go through deepen the color, and now it's just look a little bit better. Now in over here, we still can get a little bit more, um, have a little bit more detail into it. So like so over here, we can have this a little, little bit sharper, like that, a little bit sharper edge, and create a better form. Okay. But definitely the pen pastel to give you a better um, as another way to like a, a painting medium, like it's just painting that on. Okay. Give a little bit more interesting. It still look a little bit light, but it's okay. When I do the video, I can tone it down a little bit. Okay, like that. Okay, like that. And and those flower we can actually soften that a little bit more. Uh, I don't miss it if this is the right color. Okay, that's good. Here we go. A little bit more. Okay, by having the shape in the shape, you would very surely making the flowers, but it may not you want that much. So you might want to have a little bit more, a uh, little bit more turned. I mean, uh, come down a little bit. So I'm gonna have a little bit black with the red. I'm gonna have that. See coming back a little bit more. Okay, don't want that much standing out. So I'm gonna get a little bit red color. Like that. I do like the the feeling of, I mean, by using the pen pastel, making it more like a painting instead of a drawing. Okay, that's good. 
looks good. I'm also gonna have a little bit, a few more details on this side, on this flower. Okay, like that. That's what we really want to be. It looks like, like just a solid shape. Okay, pretty good. that too and take a look at this shadow area so I'm going to continue do a do a little bit more painting with this too and uh, hopefully I have a lot more to share with our members okay um, okay now I'm going to have a little bit more brown color again. Brown and with a little black. Mix that together. And then from here, coming from here all the way to this side. And also a little bit black. Mix that with the brown. I'm gonna have this coming over. And actually pretty good, actually, by drawing some very clear definition of actually it's pretty good not that scary okay and also you can use the uh, the pastel stick to draw it and then you use this brush those drawing too to actually refine it, you can do that too. Okay, some of the shape over here. This is perfect. Just use this and refine it. Okay, this is pretty good. I'm gonna have a little bit red and the brown color, and go putting in here too. Have a little bit more red color over here. Whether or not there is this, the stem or of the the plant, the flowers, all may be coming from the color from the flower reflected. Okay, this is this is good. Okay, like that. Red and the brown color. Like that, pretty good. More red, just the red color, a little bit warmer. That's good. Like that on. Yep. Okay. It may be a little bit too much. Okay. You don't want to have that. It's standing out this much. So you might want to have this soften that a little bit more. Like that. Have a little bit more dark color and as well as a little bit more of the green color. Okay. That's pretty good. Like that. Okay, that I think this is pretty nice. I want to have this a little bit softer at the top over here, so I'm gonna use the eraser. Just take it out. But be really careful, the eraser is not just erase the top layer, can erase the entire thing in the area. Okay. Soften that a little bit. So now it seems like a very stable. Okay, not so easy to be able to erase and just much. Okay, that's as good. I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter and a little bit shape over here too. A little bit lighter. And just keep that in mind. Eraser always your best friend. Okay, that's good. Like that. That's good. And maybe I have a couple line coming down here. Like that. If this is too much, you might want to let it go. Use the sponge again and take it out if it's too much okay 
The sponge is very good, very good blending too. Okay, maybe that is just too warm. And so I'm going to have a little bit blue color. Maybe I have a little bit blue over here. Okay, that color, ooh, that looks pretty interesting. The blueish. Okay, now I can have change the color, the balance. I'm gonna get the blue and the green. I'm gonna put it up over here, neutralize the red. Okay, very interesting. All right. So if you're interested in trying this, we can do more uh, demonstration with this uh, brand new painting tool. I'm gonna have a little bit brown and the green together. And there's two colors, very interesting. That make it a little bit more like a brownish green for this area. Okay, that's good. Okay, like that. Again, this is a painting, so you don't really need to uh, looking for to get it look like a photograph. That would be no fun. I'm gonna have something light yellow color and put it over here for some uh, so a smaller flower. And I have those like that, a little bit small flower. And here you go. A little bit small flower. There you go. A little bit more small flower. Okay. And as well as have a little bit uh, greenish gray color. I'm going to have the little bit shadow. This is actually very light. I want a little bit more darker color. That's good. There you go. Now create a feeling of some small flower at the front. Okay, like that. So now I'm going to just use the pencil. I'm going to just sign 